Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the solution for sort array by parity. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, so in this question we have been given an array of integers that are positive and what we need to do is we need to sort all these numbers in such a way that all the odd numbers come last and all the even numbers come first and we also need to preserve the order of the even numbers without using extra space okay we also need to preserve the order of even element so first thing that comes to mind will be that we can just create one new array like this and we put i pointer here j pointer here and if you encounter odd number we will fill it like this and we will move the pointer here and we will encounter even number then we will put here and move it forward something like that but if we will do that we will be using extra space and we are specifically told we don't have to use any extra space and also one more thing if you look carefully here this has our function that we need to complete is of void type which means it is not going to return anything and we need to make our changes on our original nums array okay so that's what we need to do so this type of method won't work here now before i try to discuss this solution i will just ask you one thing have you solved the question called sort 01 i will tell you where it was it was in the level 1's module of uh, time and space complexity okay have you solved that question if you haven't solved that question i will recommend you to watch that question or solve that question because this question is entirely that question itself if you know how to solve sort 01 question this is very similar to that question okay and also even if you know how to do quick sort mainly the partition i'll go for the quick sort then also you can solve this problem very easily so if you haven't solved that question or you don't know about the quick sort i will recommend you to watch the videos before trying to watch this video okay so i hope you have watched those videos okay and now i will try to tell you the solution all right so let's suppose that this is my array okay this array somewhat looks like this and i have made some partition in this array segment 1 segment 2 segment 3 okay hmm. and what these segments are representing this first segment is representing the even numbers the even segment the part where only even numbers are present okay then part is representing the odd numbers of this array and third part is representing the unsolved part so if when you will be trying to solve this question you will be moving from left to right or right to left and what we will be doing is trying to put odd and even number to either this even segment or the odd segment okay so if you will be trying to do that you will certainly have some unsolved segment also so this is that part all right now we have this segment here this array now we need some pointers which can tell us the actual partition of these segments 
ओके आई हैव जे एलिमेंट जे पॉइंट है एंड आई पॉइंट है राइट नाउ व्हाट इज जे पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंटिंग जे पॉइंट है इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द फर्स्ट ऑर्ड नंबर फर्स्ट ऑर्ड नंबर फ्रॉम द सेगमेंट दिस सेकंड सेगमेंट कंटेन्स ऑल द ऑर्ड नंबर्स द ऑर्ड एलिमेंट्स सो जे इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द फर्स्ट ऑर्ड नंबर and what i is representing i is representing first unsolved element and what we mean by first unsolved element is that this ith element we haven't chosen if it should go in even segment or if it should go into odd segment okay now we just need to do what we need to do we need to take this the decision for the i element which is nums i we just need to make the decision if it is odd then we need to put it in odd segment and if it is even then we need to put it in even segment okay now let's suppose that this i element is the odd number now what is going to happen is this odd segment is going to increase till this part okay now odd segment will end at this part it will start at j and end till this point okay and after we have done this my i will move forward okay i th element has been done so i will move forward because what i was representing i was representing first unsolved element so i will move forward now let's to check if this is even or odd now let's suppose that we got a even number now now we need to put it in this segment okay segment 1 should contain this even element now how we can put this element here we need to put this element here okay now what we need, are going to do is we are just going to swap the i th element with this j th element and how this is going to help us okay now If you look closely here, if I will do this swapping, then what will happen is here. There were only odd elements. Let me write this with blur. Yeah, there has only odd elements, and the segment was still starting from here to here. Now. what is going to happen is this even element will go to the first element of j because we know that j is the first odd element in the odd segment and before this j element all the numbers are even so if i will swap it with this j here now what is going to happen is even number will come here and i told you that this was already even so a even segment increased and our odd segment shifted to one place here now instead of ending here our segment our segment will end here and now my i and j both will move forward i will move forward because the decision for this element i th element was taken if this was even element it was put here so i will move forward and now as my j was representing first odd number so now this has become even number so my j will move forward also okay so j will move forward also now same thing we are going to do if we encounter a even element or odd element okay now let's try to 
run this algorithm on one test case or our sample array. Okay. Now this is my array. Okay, let's also take our output so that we can compare the results. Let's put the pointers i and k. Now I put my pointers. What my j was representing? J was representing first dot element, first dot, and I was representing first unsolved. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are going to move from left to right and try to figure out. It is odd or even and try to swap them according to that. Okay. Now this was the time was odd. So I will just move forward. It will do nothing. Now again we have three it is odd. Nothing is going to happen. I will move forward. Now I is i element is eight, which is even. So first thing what we are going to do, we are going to swap i and j elements okay now 8 and 9 will swap places 8 will come here and will come here as decision for i was already made so i will move forward he was representing my first order element so j will move forward also okay now i encounter 7 7 is the odd number so i will move just forward now I had counted six. Six is a even number. So we need to swap i and j elements. So we we'll swap three and six. One, six will come here. Three will come here. Decision of i element was taken. So I will move forward. J was representing first order element. So it will move forward also. Now I encountered two. So 2 is even, so I will again swap i and j elements. So 2 will come here and 9 will come here. Okay. For i element was taken, so it will move forward. J was representing first odd number, so it will move forward also. Now we encountered 3 is the odd number so i will move forward now i is pointing at nothing because we have reached the end of our array so our loop will terminate and this will be our resultant array after all the work we have done now if we will compare it to the output 862 862 79 79 This is exactly the output that we needed. And also if you will look at the yeah, look carefully. The relative order of the original array is not changed. Relative order of what? Relative order of even elements. Okay. Let's write it. So first even element was Eight. Second even element was two, 6. Third even element was 2. So 1, 2, 3 here. Here also 8 is the first even element. 6 is second even element. 2 is third even element. So relative order of even elements are not changed in this case also. Now if you look closely the relative order of odd number has changed. Okay. Hmm. Relative order for odd element changed, but relative order of even element didn't change as it was required by the quotient 
also uh, if you will use this algorithm that our your output will match with our output okay so that's for the solution part that's for the approach you want to try it yourself pause this video and do it or if you don't want to solve this you want to see the code i'm just going to do it i'm going to implement this algorithm okay so i'm just going to implement it right now first thing that we need was two pointers int i equal to zero and j equal to zero now we need a while loop i should until nums dot size and now see see one thing here i is moving forward always whether it is even or odd number we have to these are i always and for the case of even numbers only we need to do two extra set so we are going to write if i nums i is even then we need to do two extra steps which is swap i element and jth element so let's swap them nums i nums i equals nums j and nums j equals temp and we have swapped i and j element and we just need to do j plus plus and now i plus plus was happening every time so i plus plus now we need don't need to return anything because it is a void type function so let's run it now we have successful submission for our sample test case let's submit it so we got successful submission also okay now if you look closely we are what we are doing was moving i pointer each time we are checking if i element is odd or even we check for all the numbers like this okay so if we will talk about the and complexity of this function that we have written it will be o of n and if you will look in the program we haven't used any extra space we just used two variables so it means that my space complexity is constant space complexity which is o of 1 okay so that's all for the solution of this problem and i hope that you have understood this problem now and you are ready to solve it and if you haven't able to understand it till now i will recommend you to watch this video once again and see its diagram again and i'm sure that you will be able to understand by then okay so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next one okay goodbye then